Hi, I'm James Schillinglaw. I'm here with Olivia Thackstone at World of Wedgwood. Now, you've heard of Wedgwood, I'm sure, but I don't think you quite understand the experience you can get here. And we just had a wonderful tour with Olivia, and we're going to talk all about it on Insider Travel Report. Now, Olivia, first of all, we are in World of Wedgwood, and we are not too far from Manchester, right? No, we're only about an hour away from Manchester, Manchester Airport, um, which is absolutely fantastic for us, just off the M6. Yeah, and brilliant. in fact, that's I literally walked off the plane, <laughs> and I came right here to Wedgwood, so I'm experiencing it. And so we just did a wonderful tour. Talk a little bit about how a visitor to World of Wedgwood will experience this place. This is the factory, the main factory. Yeah. So you start off with a factory tour, right? Yeah, so generally when visitors come, they will... Um, know of the Wedgwood brand but they don't necessarily know what we have here at World of Wedgwood right. um, unless they've done their good research beforehand so um, one of our ambitions on the on front of house is to actually um, educate people on what we've got to offer right. here at Wedg World of Wedgwood and one of the main attractions is the factory tour you get to see the production of Wedgwood um, for uh, through your very 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 eyes yeah no and you were explaining all the different industries you talk a little bit about what the things are that you show I mean you see the 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 ovens the kilns and all all kinds of things like that plus you see the, the the plates and the cups and everything being made right yes exactly so it's everything from the clay end to the production to the final product um, so we're, people will be able to see the cups being made the teapots being made the plates being made and then it all going into the the kilns that we've got as well so our kilns are quite modern these days um, but they're still really interesting and, and, and sort of technical in the way that we make Wedgwood today um, but then you also get to see how hand painted wares and hand gilded wares yeah we saw some one of the I mean, very very intricate, yeah, watching these ladies and, and men uh, really painting directly yes. on. Amazing. Yeah, right? Absolutely amazing. And you see the time and effort that goes into Wedgwood and you appreciate the brand and the, and the pieces that are made and, and kind of the, the delicate nature that some of them have to go through the processes. Yeah. Now, and of course, you said you had groups of, usually groups of 16, no more than 16, four times a day or something. Like yeah. So we get um, individual walk, uh, visitors that come in. So we call them sort of independent visitors, right. but also we get a lot of groups as well. So groups, we can bespoke their um, visit with us. So if if it's a tour around the museum they'd like or a tour around the factory we can arrange all that for them and make sure that they get the best out of world of wedgwood and of course then you have the museum which details the whole evolution of the company when josiah wedgwood founded it and what what year was that uh, he founded the company in 1759 okay. um josiah wedgwood was a local person he was born in burslem which is one of our um towns within stoke-on-trent um so he's a real hero to the po people of the potteries basically and um it's amazing that we have this heritage and history here at World of Wedgwood. And then you go through all the different styles, I think, over the years and the evolution of of pottery, of the plates, of, of everything else, right? Yeah, exactly. So um, as with anything these days, um, trends and fashions are continuously changing and that exactly the same thing that happened in the 18th century and the 19th century and Wedgwood had to evolve and make different things and come up with new patterns um, and keep up with fashions otherwise we wouldn't have survived and that's exactly what the museum shows yeah. it shows it going through all the different stages and you have survived all the way since way back then and the the, the Wedgwood family uh, you we see you can watch them and you can see the paintings of them back in the day and all that you can indeed. So one of our famous paintings is called the uh, Wedgwood Family Portrait. It's painted by George Stubbs, who's famous for painting horses. Um, and he stayed with the Wedgwood family. And whilst he's staying with the Wedgwood family in their home, he painted the family portrait that we see today. Um, and it's amazing, really, because we're able to really capture what family life was like for them. It was a happy family. It was a really happy time for them. And um, we've got a lot of famous faces within the Wedgwood um, dynasty as well, which is, is pretty amazing for well, us. I, I, one of them... I I was surprised to know there was a connection to Charles Darwin, right? Yeah, so Susanna, Josiah Wedgwood's um, eldest daughter, he, she married Robert Darwin, who then they had a son called Charles Darwin. And as that's we all know today. <laughs> as a and then this, this, fa this factory survived during World War II as well. Although, interestingly, you said it wasn't making China back then. It was making something else. Yeah. Right? So we, um, during the Second World War, the factory had been built. So it was still in production of, of China. But also we had to kind of do our part for the war effort. And we made little parts for Spitfires and aeroplanes, which is really, really nice. Particularly as the Spitfire was designed in Stoke-on-Trent as well. That's right. <laughs> it's, it's a lot of history here. And then, of course, when you finish your 
your tour of the museum, the tour of the factory. Uh, you get to the real heart of the beast, you can come here uh, in the store uh, yeah. and see all some of the latest lines and, of course, have tea, right? Exactly. So we've got in World of Wedgwood, we've got three shops. One is the gift shop, which you see at the end of the museum. We've also got the Wedgwood store. So this houses all our latest collections, um, beautifully displayed by our visual merchandise team, who are fantastic. Um, and then also you can um, have afternoon tea, which is really sort of quintessentially English. And a lot of people love to come and have that. And it is an absolutely beautiful afternoon tea, all served on Wedgwood Bone China, of course. Of course. <laughs> I wouldn't think of anything else. Absolutely. Now, what would you tell uh, our audience or travel advisors and they're working with clients who want to come visit? W what are some of your secrets to experiencing this place? Um, so experience, definitely go on a guided tour. You've got to go on a guided tour. Our guides are fantastic. Their knowledge is incredible. Um, and they, they love to share their knowledge as well. Um, and within the museum, it's for me, it's, it's definitely got to be those hidden gems that are in there. Those that are not, not quite obvious. So, so things such as the slavery medallion. Um, and he was, yeah, one of, the, one of the Wedwards was an abolitionist, one of the yes. first, right? Exactly. He was one of the first. He was in contact with Benjamin Franklin. He yeah. sent over slavery medallions to Benjamin Franklin to support the cause. Um, unfortunately, neither of them actually got to see their acts being um, put into Parliament or into... Um into play really so but it is it's an amazing amazing story that we have here at world at world of wedgwood and in the vna collection that we have as well yeah and that's the victoria and albert museum connection it's here it's not in in london it's here absolutely <laughs> the wedgwood collection is here yeah, yes right. <laughs> now, now uh what what is there's a website or some contact information where where travel advisors can go to uh learn more and also how to figure out how to book it or book it through a great tour operator yeah exactly so we do have our own wedge uh, website it's uh, world of Wedgwood.com um, and on there it will point out everything that you can do whilst you're here so that includes the pot throwing we've got a decorating studio as well and obviously all our shops but also the contact information is on there so the easiest probably way um, if you're in America is probably to email over uh, and it's simply info at worldofwedgwood.com and um, our lovely bookings coordinator will be able to organize your day for you and, and, and advise you on the best things to do whilst you're here. And if you reminded me exactly you can actually make a pot here or make a plate yeah, and, and you decorate can. it yourself right? yes you can so our pot throwing studio is where you can have a go on the potter's wheel and you can pretend to be Josiah Wedgwood for the day <laughs> well Olivia thank you for taking the time and thank you for the wonderful tour I mean you have to go with Olivia actually to find out all the, the great stuff on what's going on here at Wedgwood it's a marvelous experience it's not what I expected at all I mean I I have Wedgwood China <laughs> at home but I didn't know that it was so involved in such such a history here uh, that all oh, you can really only experience by visiting this wonderful factory. Thanks so much. No problem. Thank you. I'm James Schillinglaw, and this is Insider Travel Report.